Hi, I'm Vincent and I'm working on a project called the AMCS. It's the short for Automated Mushroom Cultivation System. A few years back, when I was in a voluntary project in rural China, I came to a realization that food security is actually a major issue now. According to the data by the FAO, 795 million people in the world go hungry daily and 2 billion people lack of nutrients to live a healthy life. Feeding the planet sustainably is becoming increasingly challenging, especially when the world's population is reaching 9 billion soon and farmable lands continue to shrink by the years. Mushrooms have been long regarded as one of the healthiest food. It is with protein content of up to 30% by dry weight and when dried, it can be easily transported anywhere and it can be kept for years. Zooming in, the mushroom industry in Malaysia is relatively immature and small, 80% of which are small-scale farmers whom lack of equipment and technology to expand their businesses. After visits to mushroom farms and analysis of the current bottlenecks in the industry, I have designed a machine to cater to the needs and to solve the pain points in the mushroom cultivation industry. Coffee grounds and tea waste are collected to be mixed in as the substrate material. The machine and system is a 7-in-1 machine and the NI Myrio is used as the controller. The following is the demo of the system. The filler is activated and you can see it is filling up. So the proximity sensor is here. When it rises up until the desired level, it will stop automatically. This is how the compression works. The next part is the seeding part, where these are the seeds of the mushrooms. It will be filled into this uh, cedar, and this cedar is enclosed by this uh, casing. And yeah, for clearer demonstration now, um, we will drop the seeds onto a container for you to view. And on the press of this uh, seed, you can see the machine will work and drops now seeds accordingly to each of the artificial log. This is the graphical user interface. In the first phase, there are automatic sequence and manual control where you can press this automatic sequence and it will fill up the whole process by itself. The lock production. And for manual control, you can control each of it like filling and the machine will work. Uh, yeah. And compressing, seeding and the conditioning where the probe is put into and it will update the, humid, uh, the soil humidity at the moment. And there's also a guide and this is the temperature and humidity control. Um, there's a chart showing the current temperature and you can set the desired temperature and humidity and it will try to achieve the temperature. Okay, and this uh, lab view can be controlled by any tablet or a computer. So this is the mushroom farm that I built to, to make an uh, experiment. This is the humidifier unit and these are the mushrooms that is growing. It is the seventh crop, uh, but mushrooms are still coming out. So I will show you the air conditioner that uh, we use to control the temperature of the room. So this is it. The AMCS is able to produce 76 artificial locks while manual production can produce 26 artificial locks an hour. And due to contamination, the rejection rate for manual production is 3 times higher than AMCS production. Aided by a circuit modified humidifier unit and an air conditioner remote control, the temperature and humidity of the mushroom growing chamber is successfully controlled by the AMCS system as well. The project's novelty lies in its technique of giving second lives to waste items and food and agriculture waste like the discarded 
washing machine and the coffee ground and turning them into valuable food supply. These mushrooms can then be sold for project funding or donated for the needy ones.